Just washing my hands like we learned to do in that germs book I read to you all earlier in the year. Remember to wash your hands at least 20 seconds and use a song, well-known song such as the happy birthday song or the um, ABC song like I just sang for about 20 seconds and you'll be germ free. Let's go read a story. Hi boys and girls, we have a very uh, interesting book to read today for story time. And our lesson for library lesson and before we do that we should begin with our seven habits of successful happy kids ready begin habit one be proactive habit two begin with the end in mind habit three put first things first habit four think win-win habit five seek first to understand then to be understood habit six Synergize. Habit seven, sharpen the saw. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Great job. Thank you for participating and joining me in practicing the seven habits and making it part of our daily life. Now let's go over our three important library book words. The first word is, what's this word? What letter does it begin with? That's right, title. And what does it mean? It's the what of a book? The name of a book, good job. The title of this book is When Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry. Our next important library book word is, what is this word? What letter does it begin with? An A-U together sounds like ah, uh, or what is this word? Author. Good job. The author is the person who does what to the book? The person who writes the book. And this author is who? Even, oh, I think even the first graders can sound this out. By who? Mahali. Mahali. Because the ending Y always starts to sound like an E, oftentimes. Mal Not all the time, but most of the time. Mali. And this, let's sound out the second word. B. E. Ng. Bang. Molly Bang is the author. And so she did what? She wrote the words for the book. And our third important library book word is what? Ooh, that's a big word. It's a lot of syllables. It begins with what letter? Good job. Sound it out. Illustrator. Illustrator. The illustrator is the person who does what? The person who draws the beautiful pictures in the book. And in this book, Molly Bang is also the illustrator. She's the author and the illustrator. And look at this. She won two awards. She got the Caldecott Honor Award. Caldecott is given for um, uh, exceptional illustrations, you, you know, like above average illustrations. She got honor, so she didn't win the top prize, but she was nominated for it. And she got the um, Charlotte Zolotow Award. And Charlotte Zolotow's award is for the best words, the best, um, the best narrative that is written. And so she got uh, recognized for her work for both the writing and for the pictures. All right, so um, let's read and then we will discuss this very important topic. Sophie was busy playing when my turn, her sister grabbed Gorilla. No, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It's her turn now, Sophie. As her sister snatched Gorilla away, Sophie fell over the truck. Oh, is Sophie 
ever angry now. She kicks, she screams. She wants to smash the world to smithereens. She roars a red, red roar. Sophie is an ex Sophie is a volcano ready to explode. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry, she runs and runs and runs and runs until she can't run anymore. Then for a little while, she cries. Now she sees the rocks, the trees, and ferns. She hears a bird. She comes to the old beech tree. She climbs. That's a big tree, isn't it? She feels the breeze blow her hair. She watches the water and the waves. The wide world comforts her. Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down and heads for home. The house is warm and smells good. Everyone is glad she's home. I'm home. Everything's back together again. Just like a puzzle, huh? She's like a piece in a puzzle back together again. And Sophie isn't angry anymore. The end. Boys and girls, uh, let me stop for one quick minute to go over one more vocabulary word that I think that the fifth graders are familiar with. And I'm not sure, but I think it's one of their words. And that word is, look at this word. That's a big word, isn't it? Let's sound it out. Anamatopoeia. Uh, oh, the O is silent. Anama. Anomatopoeia. That word means forming the word in a way that imitates or resembles the sound that it describes. Again, forming the word in a way that imitates or resembles the sound that it describes. It's most often used in, in um, comic books, uh, but Sophie, they use it in this book too. Even when she says my turn, it's kind of like represents or resembles. Look at how they wrote the word no to make it resemble the, um, the sound that they want it to make. Look at this one. Smash. Anomatopoeia. And this is the last one. Roar. Roar. And so even if you all did not learn that word yet. Oh, wait, there's one more, y'all. Explode. Explode is imitating the, um, the kind of like uh, resembling the, what it's trying to express as a word. Yeah, that's, oh, wait, they do have one more. Pabam. Oh, I didn't even say that word while we were reading. Pabam. But these, again, uh, are called what? What's the new word we learn? Even if you're not in the fifth grade, if you can remember it, say it with us. Starts with the letter O. What's the word? Onomatopoeia. All right, thank you. All right, in this book, uh, thank you for um, watching and paying attention. 
This book is talking about an important topic called what? Anger management. Anger management. So let's, let me ask you a few questions. What made Sophie angry? What two things made Sophie angry? First, she had to do what? She didn't want to give up her what? Her toy or her gorilla, which means she had to do what? She had to, what's this word? Share. Share. She had to share. And um, so she, she did not want to um, share with her sister. That's it. She did not want to share with her sister. And when we have sisters and brothers or cousins or anybody, we should always share. But the second thing that also made her angry is that she, what happened when the sister snatched it from her? She did what? She got hurt when she fell over the truck. That's right. And so their mom, their mother said that they had to do what? Two words. They had to blank, blank. I'll give you a clue. They had to take what? The two of them had to take what? They had to take turns. And that's what we have to do at school too. When it's a classroom full of kids, we have to take turns. Thank you. And when we don't share, we are being what? What's that one word? You might think of several words. Okay, then let's think of more than one word. The main one I'm thinking of starts with that letter S. When we don't share, we are being, but some other words might've come to your mind. So let's look at some other words. She's being selfish, being mean, being not nice. You know, those are all good words that you might have come up with. Good job on thinking that through. And so it is a character flaw to be selfish. Um, so it's like when you're, um, it's like when you're in line, in line at school and, uh, you are become angry over your place in line. You feel like, oh no, so-and-so jumped me in line. That's, you know, we're all going to get to the cafeteria at the same time, or we're going to get to the playground at the same time. So it's okay to share and let others go first because we're all going to experience the same thing. And so we all have to manage our own anger as we grow up and get older. And the older we get, hopefully the better at it we get at uh, managing our anger. And so what does Sophie's anger looks like? What does her, so her anger look like? What actions does she do when she gets angry? Okay, she's kicking. What else is she doing? She's screaming. What else is she doing? She's smashing. Good job. And they said one more thing. She, they said she's roaring. Oh my gosh. Kicking, screaming, smashing, and roaring. All those actions are displaying what? Something that starts with the letter V. V is in Victor. Those actions are displaying violence, and we don't want to be violent to others, not to our family, not to our friends, not to our classmates. And so we should not do those actions when we get angry. Instead, we should do what um, what Sophie did later. And so she, um, she ran, she ran until she couldn't go, uh, you know, run anymore. Then she cried a little bit. Then she um, looked around and you know, saw the trees and the ferns and heard the birds. All of these things are calming her. And that's something we should do too. So um, since we can't run in school when we get angry, maybe we could just stand there and do a few jumping jacks in place to kind of, you know, get that physical activity up. Or, or, and to maybe to release some emotions in a nonviolent way. 
and then we can find a quiet place. Maybe the teacher might send us to a quiet place for a few minutes to, to help us to calm down and uh, to be alone with our thoughts and to be mindful. And never turn to violence or self-hurting when we're angry. And after you self-comfort, you can rejoin society. You can rejoin your family, your friends, your classmates when you are calm because it's important. Uh, and so uh, she practiced mindfulness. We've had some, uh, some, pe some people come to the school and talk to us about mindfulness, listening to yourself breathe. Remember pre-K, you all had the yoga class. You breathe and uh, become aware of your breathing and your inhaling and exhaling. You become aware of the natural sounds around you. I'm outside right now and I can hear the birds chirping. Uh, you can watch nature, like you could watch the breeze go through the, the, uh, the uh, trees like I'm watching right now. Look at that breeze. And you can uh, listen to other natural sounds. Uh, like our little water fountain at the garden at our school at Holland Elementary. Or you can close your eyes and become aware of your breathing and your heartbeat. And so all of these are good ex ways to, to, anger, to practice your own self-management of your anger. And um, so what could Sophie do instead of getting angry? Uh, she could speak to others in a respectful, calm manner and try not to show any hint of tone or attitude when you express yourself in words so she instead of saying no you know she could have said can i please um get the gorilla for a little longer you know something like that and so man we we've, we've discussed a lot with this book it, it covers a lot and there's a lot of ways that we can manage our anger and so in addition to self soothing what else could Sophie do when she returned home? There's something else I thought about that this book did not address that she could do when she got home or maybe her sister could do to her when she got home. It's something I think both of them should do to each other. Does anybody have any idea what they might want to do? An extra step that might make things better? That's right. Apologize. The sister sh should be should apologize for snatching it from Sophie and making her fall over the truck. And Sophie should, uh, should apologize to everybody because she, she was kind of violent in her reaction to the whole situation. And, and she knew she has to take turns. We all have to take turns throughout our lives. Even teachers, we take turns too. And so um, I hope that you enjoyed this book. I hope you got something out of this book. And uh, even as a pre-K, all the way up, pre-K through fifth, we all have to learn to manage our own anger. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did. And um, for the older kids, uh, second through fifth, I will have an assignment on the uh, in your cl Google Classroom for you to complete. And the pre-K through first, pre actually pre-K through fifth, I'd like everybody to add this title, When Sophie Gets Angry, to your to your reading log, the um, assignment number one, library assignment number one, the all school reading log. And however many minutes this uh, whole entire video takes, you should put that many minutes because that's how long you, you stayed with me on this. And I appreciate you pay paying attention and um, doing your best to follow along and get something useful out of this book as well as enjoying it. So it's for entertainment and it's for education. Thank you all for joining us today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.